You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompadour Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, yeah, obtained last year, you know, those hanging... Anyway, we walk out past that giant race. Sellers just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Pardon me? Smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is? 
Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, to find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Yeah, lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. Fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. You got something? Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a. F yeah, that'll do. It's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly.
Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. go. Uh, this way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. Quell'odioso miliardario tedesco. Questo è un parrucchino in quella roba sul naso. Portali. Eh, Tanto non capirebbe la differenza. Non piace aspettare. Questa gente meriterebbe un cane. Potrebbe farci ammazzare. E una bottiglia da tre ore.
Dove diavoli si procurano tutta questa roba? Sono pezzi rubati ai ricettatori. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're... Right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, it must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. It's not a... <laughs> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? Sully? Great. <clears throat> Guys, if you can hear me, just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish.
Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, you know, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh? Like, dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Rafe? How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. What would be the point in that? And these days, I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? And what it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scam your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. Lovely seeing you both. Nate. Nate. God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. <laughs> 